Welcome to Sethcraft. You're here to watch the Jinmitsu 4040 Pro CNC router assembly, so let's jump right into it. Here are all of the components that come in the box of this CNC machine. Everything is very nice and well packaged. So let's start off with everything here. First of all, the user manual is very nice. It has clear, pretty pictures that show you each and every component. And then it shows some options you can purchase and then begins the step-by-step -step instructions and it is very well written. So this is actually what I'm going to be using here as we assemble this. But let's go ahead and start off. So you've got your front module, rear module, you've got your uh, two Y modules, the X module, the Z, you've got a Phillips head screwdriver, power cord, USB, MDF base, and then if you open up this little uh, compartment here, it's got tons of nice stuff. So various screws to be used for installation. It's got some spare limit switches. It's got your Z probe. It's got some uh, rather small clamps that we'll be upgrading later. Some bits, zip ties, collets, and a USB drive down here. Um, so everything you're going to need to get this machine up and running is included in this kit. Step one is to open up the box of goodies and pull out the rubber feet. So we've got four different rubber feet here and this will help to reduce vibration on your tabletop as the machine is operating. So take the front and rear uh, modules here. Now there are two sides. One side has this indention. That's going to go up. So for now we want to put the rubberized feet on the bottom of that. Just going to peel off here and put this right in the middle. Do the same on the uh, rear module. The next step requires the MDF board. Now, if you look at this, it has been sunk in or countersunk to allow those uh, screw heads to fit into. And on the bottom, there are these little inserts that will allow the clamps to fit into. So those need to be facing down and these need to be facing up. I'm going to take the locating pins out of the box, which if I show you that, it's these little uh, stainless steel uh, cylinders. And those are going to be set into the ends of the front and rear modules. The locator pins actually reach down and touch that rubber foot and that helps stick them into place, which is a fun uh, thing for them to do. The next step is to take the M5 20 millimeter uh, bolts here and you're also going to need the Allen wrench and that is going to be used to put in the MDF. So going to slide the rear so that I can get this assembled here. All right, I'm just going to take one of those M5s, place that in here, line it up with the hole down below, and screw those into position. I don't want to tighten the M5 bolts all the way down until I have all of them installed, and then I can lock this into place better. Just like with the front module, I'm going to do the same with the rear module, getting these M50s put in here so that it locks everything down to the MDF. Now that I have the MDF installed and all eight of the locating pins, it's time to get the two Y modules installed, the right side and the left side. So I've got the right side here, and this has the control board on that side. And so that's gonna to go to the right front I'm just going to use those locating pins to help guide this into position and lower this down until it makes a good solid connection. I'm going to do the same with the other side here and this is going to be the left Y. More of these M5 20 millimeter bolts are going to be used to connect the Y module to the front and rear module. 
You're gonna have four on each corner for a total of 16. One nice thing is that the included Allen wrench is tall enough that you can easily spin this in place without hitting the top of this aluminum piece right here. Once all 16 of the M5 bolts have been installed, come back with your Allen wrench and make sure all of those are nice and tight. Once both sides of the Y module have been locked into place, it's time to come back and tighten down the MDF. So make sure there is no space between there, that they are all flush and together, and then you can tighten these all down. Both stepper motors on the Y modules have these manual jog wheels. That's going to allow for this to be butted up against this. So I can turn that and as soon as it touches, it will stop. Same thing goes for over here. If it is not touching, so if it's shipped out a little bit, you're gonna to want to spin that until it touches. Once that's done, you can then move on to the next step. It's now time to install the X axis. This is going to go on the Y axis rails here. So you wanna make sure the logo for Jinmitsu is facing forward and also that the stepper motor is on the same side that has the control board over here. So I'm just going to simply set this into position on both of those and it's going to make a nice, uh, easy, smooth fit on top of that Y rail. I'm now going to use the M5 18 millimeter bolts to get these installed here. So I'm just going to drop one of those bolts in. Now there are only uh, two attachment points now, so you need a total of eight bolts to get this um, put into position. This unit is shipped with an eighth inch collet, which in this little box here. So Go ahead and pull that out. We need to get this installed before installing the Z module. I'm gonna use the two included wrenches to remove the cap here on the spindle. There we go, that's good enough for now. I'm gonna use the manual jog on the stepper motor for the X to bring this piece out a little bit away so it's easier to work with. So once that's been done, it's time to install the Z module. Now you'll notice on the Z module, there are four sets of holes drilled in here. So if you're gonna be working with taller materials, you can mount this here. If you're working with shorter materials, you can mount this here. I think for this example, I'm going to mount on the lower position. So I would put this right here like this. And so I'm gonna be using these M5 16 millimeter bolts to get this installed. And so that's just going to go into the holes right in here. I'm gonna use the Allen wrench to get those installed. On top of the Z module, there are two holes that are gonna be used for the cable management or cord management. I'm gonna place this right here, and then I'm gonna use two of these M3 Phillips screws to uh, get this little bracket mounted into place. Now these screws are very small, but should be able to get those in there. And that concludes all of the assembly for the base, the MDF, the X, the Y, and the Z modules. Very good. The next step to do here is gonna be wiring. So let's move on to that now. I turned the Jimitsu 4040 Pro around so you can see the backside for the wiring harness. Let's go ahead and slip the black and red wires up. Also the limiter switch and then the stepper motor controller right there. And those will, you also have to get this little protective piece through. All right, and so this needs to swing around to the front where we're going to be attaching the black and red wires to this uh, spindle. On the top of the spindle, there is a M negative and an M positive, and that's where we're gonna be attaching our red and black wires. So the M positive is going to be for the red wire, and the M negative is going to be for the black wire. 
The three pin limit switch needs to be plugged in back here. It's a little bit hard to see. One thing to consider is that you don't want this to touch the stepper motor uh, piece down here. So just keep that in mind, it needs to be on this side of the post. And then lastly, you've got the stepper motor control up here. And this just needs to go into that. Next, I'm gonna take the wiring harness out of this front control box and plug it up here into the back. There we go, simple enough. There's an extension cable in the hole of the rear mount and that is gonna allow the two sides of the Y stepper motors to communicate with each other. Likewise, on this side, there is also a connection that needs to be made. The CNC router also comes with several cable ties to help with cable management. So it wants to have this cable, first of all, tied down over here. There's not a ton of room to work with, but... And that concludes the Jinmitsu 4040 Pro CNC router assembly. I will have a link in the description down below where you can check out this unit to purchase for your very own uh, if you haven't already. So my thoughts on the assembly process of this unit. First of all, every detail of this machine is well thought out and uh, it's machined well. All the screws fit in perfectly. Uh, I have no complaints so far from the assembly. The instruction manual is crystal clear and very nice. The way they have laid out the kit that comes with this unit, first of all, it's got the card on top that shows you what everything is. But other than that, it just, it's very nice. Whoever designed this uh, really cared and put a lot of attention into details. Um, so very nice machine so far. I will have a separate video for doing all of the computer work as far as getting the software up and running on this. I'm gonna be using Easel and uh, we'll do a, a project as well. So definitely subscribe to the channel and if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comment section down below. I'm Seth and I will see you in the next video. Bye.